Good morning, I'm Gregory and I'm Jared and we're both in the Fuchs technical team and I was telling Jared about my visit to the agriculture in Butterville and it was surprising to see all the equipment there and the cost of the equipment is phenomenal. 8.4 million rand for a tractor, 1.2 million rand for a harvester and these plows, these implements, attachments are amazing to do four or five things at the same time. Yes, Greg, and one thing to consider along with the cost is that this equipment is seasonal, so it's stopped half of the year. So when the season turns and you need to use your equipment, it needs to work optimally. And one way to mitigate the risk of that not happening is through lubricants and lubricant-related products like engine coolants. That's interesting. I always thought that a tractor engine and a truck engine were the same engine, and I would have most probably used truck engine oil on my tractor. What do you think of that? I don't see any problem with that. They're both heavy duty diesel engines. Um, the one thing to consider though is that they do not work the same as on highway equipment. For plowing and planting, you run between 2 and 10 kilometers per hour. And for harvesting, that can go down to 0 0.3 up to 2 kilometers per hour. You know what I found fascinating is um, that the tractor is more than the engine. You know, it's got hydraulic systems, it's got wet brakes, transmission, all these kind of things, you know. Now what products would you use in those applications? So for the engine, I go for our Agri Farm uh, Mark 15W40. It is a API CR4 uh, engine spec. And for the hydraulics and the wet brakes and all of that, we can use the Agri Farm Motor MP, which is a multi-purpose product. I saw one of the um, more modern tractors, they actually have a hydrostatic drive um, and for us laymen, that is just the engine creates power which drives a hydraulic pump. There's no connection between the engine and the wheels, it's all done with hydraulics. Um, that's amazing. It is, and the AgriFarm VT would be the, the product for that application. So at the end of the day, we're assisting our farmers with less downtime and keeping their uh, equipment in tip-top condition. The other day I actually asked the farmer what uh, coolant does you need radiator because most people don't consider the radiator as part of the equipment and he was telling me he uses dam water. I said you can't use dam water in your radiator, you need specialized fluids, you know, and the fluids are maintained fricofin LL, which is long life, and maintained fricofin DP, which is dual protection. Okay, and what kind of protection are we looking at? Oh, we're looking at corrosion protection, seal protection, cavitation. I actually have an example of cavitation here. That damage you see there um, is often considered corrosion, but that's not, that's cavitation. And this damage happened in one season, and the reason for that was damn water. Okay, so coolant is very important. Absolutely, it is. So Greg, while we've spoken about a number of products now, we haven't touched on our grease range. Oh, and grease is also vast. The application, your recommendation is always dependent on your application. So why don't we do that next time we meet? Sounds good. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. See you next time. See you next time.